Hey, good morning, and welcome back to another video. I got two small packages here. I'm going to do a quick unboxing. So we'll get started here. First, let me put on my eyeballs. Oh, what's going on here? Everything's upside down. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Got my glasses up. Upside down. All right. little humor there. Here we go. Start out with this one first. And first item here, I will have a pair of, let's see here, yeah, this way. A pair of Luftwaffe administration color tabs. We'll look at these up close here in a minute. Next item. On this next one is a Luftwaffe cuff title and cut off a uniform. It's like a real dark wool in color. It got got a little nip nip there from being cut off the uniform, maybe a half inch and a couple little moth holes, but pretty nice one. We'll take a look at that one up close. And for the next one here, and the last one. Yeah, four different items here. Let's see, let's open the first one here. Yeah, I'm gonna have a some World War One German Imperial postcards. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And the next item, there's a total of nine of them in that pack. And and this one, there's another pack of nine World War One German Imperial postcards. Yeah, almost all of them's uh, portraits and uh, guys posing as a company. And the next one. will be German pin there. That's different. I've never seen one of those. That's why I bought it. And the last one here will be a German shooting tinny, World War II. All right, so... Now we'll go in here and look at these up close. All right, now I'll start out with the Luftwaffe administration color tabs. Nice complete set. For the backs of them. And now for the tinny.
And here's the pin I was talking about. Get the little fringes on the bottom. And it has a pin on the back of it attached to the top part. And now for the Luftwaffe cuff title. Made out of wool, cut off a uniform. And on the back of it. And you can see right here, it's got a little damage where they cut it off. And now we'll take a look at these postcards. There's the first six of them. And here's the next six of them. And here's the last six of them. Now start looking at these up close for you. And on the back, some of them don't have anything on them. Three buddies there. And some of them got the postmark and writing on them. The address of the person I sent it to. And a little writing there. And here's one. The whole group. That's also got writing on the back. And I got one here. Looks like a female. I guess when a soldier went home, she posed with his equipment. Fräulein Leutnant means female lieutenant. Wish I could read that, but that's like reading a doctor's writing. This guy here, he looks happy. Here's one with two buddies posing. Date of 1916 on the back. And here's another group shot. That guy there looks really young.
And this guy here. That one's dated 11 December 1915. This one's October 1915. Take this goes this way. And I guess we'll look at one more here. He's bayonet on the left side. The Germans wore their bayonets on their left side, and they got a trottle on the bayonet. They're in different colors, so you can tell what regiment they're in. And this one's 1917. These are inexpensive to collect, so they're, they're fun to look at. A lot of history in these photos. This Al Vader saying it means goodbye. And this one is 1916. Might as well look at the last two of them here. Nothing on the back of that one. Guess that's his name. And that's 1918. Don't know if any of these guys survived the war, but there it is. All right, das ist alles. All right, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next Friday at the Mac Show. Have a good weekend.